Miss Katrina G says, be the best version of yourself. And when life hands you lemons, make lemonade because your next is always greater than your now. It's always good to level up, be a blessing and not a lesson. And always remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Let's get it! What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ms. Katrina G. I am back with another video. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I am Ms. Katrina G. And of course, we're the Love Jones family. To those of you who are newly subscribed and one this side of youtube welcome to the family welcome to this side of youtube where there's nothing but fun positivity and good vibes if you haven't already go ahead and like comment share and subscribe to your girl's youtube channel and don't forget to hit that post notification bell yes the bell to the right next to subscribe so you will miss none of the content coming your way on this side of youtube so happy monday you guys i pray that everyone had a blessed and wonderful weekend because mine was you know awesome i'm grateful truly blessed um for whatever it was <laughs> just because i'm alive i had a great weekend so anyways guys as you can see it is taco today and taco today means whatever day i decide to do tacos that's what we're gonna do i have my ice this is the peach nectar ice i actually like the peach nectar and several other flavors. I think the coconut pineapple is my favorite, but we got ice on deck today, y'all. And I have homemade the cheese, nacho cheese taco shells with ground beef. I have my, ooh, look at this, y'all. Homemade, like, sharp cheddar cheese, y'all. Look, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> we had the kids over the weekend, and we definitely had nacho night taco nacho night and so obviously your girl gonna continue that on because it was so 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 super delicious so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have grace and we're gonna talk about you're better you're bigger than this or um be the bigger person in spite of all odds in spite of all that goes on around you even things that get thrown at you just be the bigger person all right so let's pray let's get into this video heavenly father we thank you for this meal we ask that you bless this meal also bless those who do not have a meal we pray for all of the love love jones family in a special way as well as my family and those who are watching on the side in your lovely son jesus name i do pray amen i also have i love the ortega taco sauce y'all you cannot go wrong hope you can see it i don't know if the green screen is messing it up but you cannot go wrong with the ortega sauce this is the mild version obviously because the kids don't eat spicy stuff nor do papa i have spicy too but i'm gonna try i'm gonna eat them out today so yes guys i have the string cheese oh my god y'all this is like heaven it's a lot of cheese too y'all so yeah your girl been exercising i have promised myself you know with um I'm doing mukbangs or whatever, just getting ready for a wedding in itself <laughs> to exercise. You know, it's always, you have, you have to, when it comes to exercising, you have to discipline yourself. And I know that's one thing with the smartwatch that I have. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, 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 tear you up, girl. I love cheese, y'all. You know me, you know I love cheese. I'm gonna take that out. Melty, ooh wee. Let's get a thumbnail, y'all. Hold on. So we didn't get no thumbnail. Show the tacos. We gotta show the tacos. And then we're gonna get this cheese right. It's still it. Hold on. Don't come out of the bowl now. You have to stay. Do your part. Okay. Let me get a pull, y'all. Yep, ain't it interesting when y'all see the mukbangers when we do <laughs> thumbnails? And some thumbnails, y'all, for the most part, my thumbnails, I just catch what I catch. I don't even use 
what I actually did for the thumbnail. Mm. A lot of people be wondering how do you make this kind of cheese you don't use the actual pot to melt the cheese you actually use a bowl um i use i'll tell you what i use i use a metal bowl and i put the metal bowl well i put it back there i put the metal bowl in a pot of water and that's what i do i put a metal the metal bowl in a pot of water and it boils and I put the I just stir it as I go. It does not stick, it does not stick at all. You know, and I did it with the kids and they were just literally amazed. Like what? So yeah. I have simple tacos today. You know, extra stuff. It's a simple kind of day for me. Okay. Alright, let's get in. Let's dig on in. I love the cheese nachos. We actually, I mean nachos, tacos. I keep saying nachos. We have nachos too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I like when you make your own. Cause it's not soggy. Sorry, y'all might not hear me talk a lot because my favorite food is on the menu today. <laughs> tacos! We'll talk, we'll talk after the tacos, okay? How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sour cream girl. Mm -hmm. We actually tried the Cool Ranch ones. We bought them from the store. Mm -mm. I didn't like it. We didn't like them. Nobody liked them. <laughs> My first thing is dress shopping. <laughs> so, I will be going for my wedding dress shopping this month. For all the women who are very important in my life, those who can make it will be there to support your girl. So I may show that. I don't know. We'll see. I might vlog it. Comment down below if you guys want me to vlog my wedding dress shopping. Because, okay, so my, oops, 
my maid of honor has set everything up for me as well as for the guys, their appointment, and then also the bridesmaids. So that's moving along. And I'm first. The bride goes first to go pick my dress. I have been shopping in the cart, you know, because um, where we go, you can put whatever that you desire in the cart and then they'll pick according to excuse me according to that so mm. let's talk about number three mm. let's probably be my last I call <laughs> mm -hmm. but My ideal dress, y'all, is the Sweetheart. Maybe a strap, but I like the Sweetheart. I like the way the shape of the Sweetheart with mermaid bottom. Mm. Give me some of your sour cream. <laughs> That's because... Um, the mermaid bottom shows my figure. And if I'm going to be working out every day, <clears throat> which I am, unfortunately. Um, so I'll be working out every day. I want to be able to show off my figure without working out. I love my shape. I think my shape is so beautifully unique. It is truly blessed. I love that I'm a curvy girl. Mm-hmm. As the men say, I'm a thick girl. <laughs> so, I want to show what my mama gave me. <laughs> but very discreetly, if that makes sense. Like, obviously, my wedding's going to be at the church. I'm not going to be out here just, you know, looking any kind of way. First off, my pastor ain't gonna let me at all. But yeah, I'm looking at the sweetheart mermaid dress. And with the sweetheart mermaid dress, I may do like a sleeve on the shoulder, off the shoulder, off the shoulder, on the shoulder, shoulder sleeve. I don't know. I don't want to do like a long sleeve, more, more like, you know, the skinny sleeve, the cute little sleeve. Um, that give you some coverage on your on your arms. Um, so my auntie, shout out to her. My dad's sister, she does um, crowns. She's she's gonna do my crown. She's just super excited to be a part. But yeah, guys, it is moving along in the midst of the business and everything else that I'm truly blessed for. Ooh, that's good. So, I will try to keep you guys involved. I'm thinking I'm going to vlog it. So, stay tuned for that. If your post notifications on, you will see me vlog it. If they're not, you're kind of going to miss it. So, turn on your post notification. <laughs> turn on your bell. And it should say, all. Not custom. Not sometimes, but all. So this is the Maybelline New York. Y'all remember how we used to kiss the paper? Well, my mom used to. I ain't gonna say we. It's called Ulta Matte. So it's very matte. But anyways, be the bigger person, you know, um, be the bigger person means in spite of what comes your way, in spite of um, opposition or, oh, excuse me, <laughs> opposition or anything that comes to either threaten your energy, your space, your um, existence as a whole, be the bigger person. You know, even small things that happen in our lives, a lot of times we blow up, we get frustrated, 
we kind of want to snap we want to retaliate and do all those things but it's so important to be the bigger person because the bigger person is always the one who shows more integrity who shows more of a witness as to how god can actually fight your battles for you a lot of times we try to step in um and fight our own battles when god already said cast your cares on me because i care for you and he will handle whatever the situation um that comes your way and so i think it's so important for us to know that being a bigger person does not mean you are um giving in or you have given up it doesn't mean you're giving in or you're giving up. Being a bigger person means you're doing exactly what it says. You are being the bigger person. You are choosing to keep your peace um, rather than allowing someone else to take that peace from you, to steal that joy from you. As the songwriter says, the world didn't give it to me. And guess what? The world can never cannot take it away so the joy that you have the lord gave it to you the peace that you have the lord gave it to you and it's not just that you're throwing in the towel or you're giving up or you just don't want to fight back you're weak no you're just being the bigger person so a lot of times when people throw darts at you when people um say things about you that is so not true above and beyond you know a lie travels faster than the truth guys because everybody want to hear the tea you know, someone made a comment, your channel, why isn't it growing like it should be? You are an awesome person. You have great content because a lot of times people just love the drama, you know, and it is what it is. I personally, I love doing my YouTube because I love my supporters, you know, um, God has truly blessed me with, you know, blessings outside of YouTube and YouTube has helped me to create or to establish really I already knew who I am who I who I was and I already know who I am because I have my relationship with the Lord which is key which is key but I would say YouTube did allow me to be able to voice who I am to be able to display who God has created me to be because it has nothing to do with me it's all about um what God has allowed me to do and who he has created me to be because I would not have gotten this far if it had not been for the grace of God because the Lord knows I am so unworthy of his grace but I am so thankful for the opportunity and for his sacrifice that I had another chance not a second chance not a third chance but he continues to give me another chance to get it right another chance to be in his presence it says the person who breaks the cycle <laughs> if you were judged choose understanding if you were judged always choose understanding if you were rejected choose acceptance and when people don't accept you you need to learn to accept yourself accept your flaws accept those things that you consider not the best those things that you consider your own insecurities private or even public accept yourself for who you are because god has created you beautifully and wonderfully if you were shamed choose compassion so if someone has shamed you even if you have shamed yourself i think a lot of times people shame them themselves uh, for being something that they are totally not you know and a lot of times when people are unsure of themselves i think that's what creates that weakness of um insecurity you know be sure of who you are and just know that you are somebody you know a lot of times people don't have that idea that oh i am important i am somebody you are somebody you're very important and God, I would say this, and you should just probably write this on your wall. God knew what he was doing when he created you. He knew exactly what he was doing when he created you. Excuse me. Be the person you needed when you were hurting. What did you do when you were hurting? How did you get through your pain? That person is still alive. That person, that strong person who overcame childbirth, who who overcame a death of a very, very close loved one, whoever, who overcame, you know, not being able to pay tuition for college, for school, been there, done that. I've had to pay college out of pocket. It was very depressing. You know, I was fortunate for my church community who stepped in and who always take care of me. 
from, but it's very depressing. What about that child who just don't want to listen, who, <laughs> you know, want to go their own way, but you know, you taught them the right way. Um, just remember, they'll never go astray. They will always come back, depending on how you raise them, depending on how you raise them. But go back to that person who had that strength at that very moment of your weakness. Bow to be, oh, not the person who hurt you, but the person who helped you get through, which is within yourself, the strength God given you. Vow to the better than what broke you. Vow to what is better for you than what is either trying to break you or what has broken you. Okay, so vow to, to be better than that because obviously <laughs> the negative that spills all through this world and guys we are living in times where it is crazy you know we had a scholarship service for college students at church yesterday and i mean i was like you know we missed these second because we all we have spacing we don't have a full service back we all have spacing but there's multiple churches within this organization and, you know, I was as we fellowship with those who were, you know, the few that were present with the spacing and all the, you know, safety precautions that we take in, we we're just discussing, like, look at all that's going on and God do things for a reason, you know, and I think the preacher pro preach, um, don't take what's the Lord's, you know, something like that in that instance. And it was just explaining how. You know, the pandemic happened for a reason. How everything that's going on in the world is happening for a reason. God is tired. He's tired of the foolery. He's tired of all of this stuff that's going on. Kids being exploited. Um, just no conscience, no respect for the Lord, no respect for self. It's just everything is just going on right now. And it's like he's um, preparing his saints, not just preparing his saints, but protecting us and covering us. You know, I know where I live, you always hear about a child. I think it was a child beat to death, stabbed to death. You know, it's just weird things that's going on. Any and everybody can have kids. Some parents who are parents should not be parents. Who could we, just, you know, who am I to say whether they can or not, but they shouldn't. <laughs> like, it's just a lot going on that we have to continue to stay prayed up and we need to pray for in our community. Um, but it all is the Bible. You know, the Bible is fulfilling itself when in the last days, man will become lover of self. And that's not just a, a male, but more so it is because man is the head of creation. You know, we came from man, but man will become lover of themselves. You know, all of this uh, sexual stuff going on with the kids being exploited with they're seeing things that they should not ever be you know, subject to seeing unless they're an adult and that's what they choose to do in their lives. You know, um, people have their own personal lives and they have to see their own. They have to see God for themselves. OK, <laughs> but why give why do that to children, innocent children who don't have a clue? You know, so I can go on and on and on about this topic, you guys. But let me finish this quote. And comment down below what y'all think. You know, what do you think I am saying? What do you feel about what's going on um obviously we're covered in the blood but you need not to be deceived god is not mocked whatever man so so shall you reap and so many people just refuse to you know accept it but god has put the pandemic here for a reason you guys and it's important to open up your eyes open up your eyes and we have to get our houses in order because he is coming back. You know, it's, it's a place where people are, you know, they don't want to teach their children to pray. They're mad that their children are even praying. This is just crazy, you guys. It's weird. But, hey, we're living in a lost world, lost generation. It says, what? vow to the better, vow to be better than what broke you. To heal instead of becoming bitter so you can act from your heart not your pain. It's so important to act from your heart, not your pain. You know, God is not in the midst of confusion. He's not in the midst of negativity. He's not in the midst of drama. He's not in the midst of disillusion and all the negative things that goes on around the world. You know, um, when people bring me drama, I'll be like, well, bless their heart, you know, bless your heart. I don't have time. It is what it is. It's so important to protect your peace. It's so important to protect your mental with everything going on. You can just smile in the face of the enemy. And say, guess what? I'm bigger than this. 
I'm bigger than this because greater is he who is in me than he who is in this world. You know, you ask yourself, how am I bigger than this? How? Because greater is he that is in you than he who is in this world. The evil that's present in this world, you're bigger than him. You're greater than him. You know, just because you have that light inside of you, you're much bigger than this. So be the bigger person. So guys, that is my speech for today. My little quote and, you know, discussion. Just be the bigger person and just know that you're bigger than your situation. You're bigger than your circumstances. You're just bigger than all that has been presented to you. This is stay strong, stay faithful, stay prayed up, most importantly, and do what's best for you, what God has for you. Um, eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard what the Lord has in store for you. So fulfill your purpose and be unapologetically <laughs> excited to do so. Anyway, shout out to all of my members and all of my Love Jones family in general. Just thank you guys for your continued support of Miss Katrina G. I don't know what I would do without you guys because you're my motivation. You are the reason for the season though jesus is the reason for the season but you are a big part of my life and i'm truly grateful for you so shout out to laverne wilshire jones we have tracy ann jackson stacy wilson jazzy for sure aja delk um jen to the tell there's so many of my members that i must shout out i'm just so thankful for you taking a leap of faith of being a member of Miss Katrina G's channel, even when sometimes I'm late uploading. And guys, 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 I don't have a specific time of uploading, but I'm going to try to keep my schedule, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to try to keep that schedule, but it's not a specific time. So bear with me. Um, those days, definitely you'll be getting a video, but I can't commit to a time right now because so much is going on. But definitely we'll be uploading. And so, yeah, guys, just remember, you are truly blessed. So, I guys, I want you to stay safe, stay blessed, check on someone. Let them know that you love them. I love you, but God loves you more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya.